Hey, good morning. How'd you sleep? Good, good. You want some coffee? Cool, I'll pour you some. Hmm? Hey, don't worry about it. You can stay as long as you need to. It's not like I was using the guest bedroom anyway. Might as well have a guest in there. Besides, I like having you around. Here, you want any sugar or milk? Yeah, I know you're gonna try your hardest to get a new job, but I don't want you to beat yourself up if it takes a while. Things are kind of crazy right now. And just let me say now, I don't want you taking some shitty job that pays slave wages just because it'll mean you'll be employed again. You're worth more than that. The last thing I want to see is you struggling because you didn't want to be a burden. Yeah, I know how you get. And you're not a burden, for the record. You don't have to prove yourself to me. Heck, before you'd even unpacked, you were already trying to help with the housework. I'm grateful you want to pitch in, but you don't have to do so much right away. Especially after what happened. I'm sorry. I don't mean to lecture you. I just wish you'd asked for help before it came to this. I know why you wouldn't have done that. But you know I'd never be upset with you for asking for a favor. Honestly, getting a call that you were about to be evicted was way more upsetting. Keeping things to yourself because you don't want anyone to worry about you... Well, it's becoming a problem. Yes, at the very least, you did tell me when you lost your job. But you also said you had enough savings to last you until you found a new one, which... Hey, I know you're not my friend just because I have money. I never thought that for a second. But if you need money for rent, I'm willing to help you out if it means you won't be homeless. Besides, I'm not rich enough to have people only like me for my money. Even with a decent paying job, I only have this house because of inheritance. Really, it looks like I've got it all figured out to you? Not exactly. Well, we all struggle. Some of us more than others. There's no shame in losing. Huh? How did I win? Win... what? Life? Oh. If that really is how you see it... It's just... luck. That's all it is. I had a supportive family and a happy childhood, but had I been born in different circumstances, I doubt I'd have what I do now. I know you feel like you're falling behind, but you don't need to compare yourself to others. It's not your fault your life went the way it did, and the fact that you've survived it all is worth celebrating. In fact, why don't we celebrate? Well, I know things aren't looking great right now, but there's still some positives that I think are worth celebrating. For one, you hated your old job, didn't you? The people you had to deal with, your manager, they worked you like a machine. I could tell how exhausted you were any time we hung out. But ever since you were let go, you've definitely been sleeping better, haven't you? You don't look quite so zombified anymore. Exactly. Getting away from a toxic work environment can give you a whole new lease on life. And now you don't have to worry about paying rent to your shitty landlord who always took forever to get anything fixed and never bothered with upkeep on his slummy-ass building. I swear, when you move out of here, you are going to be moving up. It's going to have a great view, plenty of natural light, and an oven that actually works. Or, you know, you could just... Keep living here, if you want to. Well, we don't have to discuss it right now, but I'm glad you're here. I mean, it just seems like we hardly ever have any time to see each other. And it'd be nice to know that you're here, instead of in a basement. 
Just because it was only half underground doesn't make it less of a basement. I was worried about you living in a place like that. It was so dark. Anyway, like I said, there is no rush for you to leave. I'm going to help you get back on your feet and turn your life around after these past few years of BS. So, let's celebrate. I've already got the day off. Save the job hunting for tomorrow. Let's just relax and hang out. Come on, I've got so many multiplayer games that I have been dying to play with local co-op. It'll be like when we were teenagers. Just a day of not worrying about anything. And I'll order pizza. Maybe some donuts, too? That's the spirit. It's good to take a break from worrying. And tomorrow, I'll help you with job searching. I can make a damn good resume, if I do say so myself. Now, let's go start up the console. God, job hunting is such a scam, all the hoops you have to go through, like, do you need a new employee or not?